the governor of Fukushima will ask the International Atomic Energy Agency to open an office in the prefecture. He wants the agency to help with the consequences of the nuclear accident. Yuhei Sato will make the request this summer when he visits the IAEA's headquarters in Vienna, Austria. The International Nuclear Watchdog has sent specialists to Fukushima since the disaster. Sato wants continued help with disaster response and decontamination work. During his visit to Vienna, Sato will also discuss a conference to be hosted by the IAEA and Japan's government in Fukushima in December. I appreciate the tenor of the conversations. Uh, I think it will actually yield results uh, before the end of the year, and I look forward to continuing this dialogue in the months ahead. Thank you very much, everybody. The Tsuruga nuclear plant on the Sea of Japan coast in Fukui Prefecture will undergo fresh inspections after experts warned it may be located above active faults. After experts warned it may be located above active faults. The plant is now offline for regular safety checks. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency issued the inspection order to operate a Japan Atomic Power Company. A team of experts surveyed three faults under the plant compound. One of the faults, located 150 meters west of the number two reactor, may be active. The team said the fault could shift simultaneously with a known active fault nearby. If that happens, they could trigger an earthquake more powerful than the plant's allowable level. One of the faults, located 150 meters west of the number two reactor, may be active. The team said the fault could shift simultaneously with a known active fault nearby. If that happens, they could trigger an earthquake more powerful than the plant's allowable level. The agency ordered the plant operator to check if the fault running directly below the reactor is active. The government's quake resistance guidelines for nuclear plants do not consider the possibility of active faults. The agency has been examining seismic faults near nuclear plants across Japan following the nuclear accident in Fukushima. Japan's Nuclear Safety Agency wants the operators of four nuclear power plants to reassess the quake resistance of their facilities. The agency says the risk of a major tremor has increased since the March 2011 earthquake in northern Japan. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency wants a reassessment of the Tomari plant in Hokkaido, Tsuruga and Monji plants in Fukui Prefecture and the Shimane plant in Shimane Prefecture. Agency experts say there is now a greater risk of faults more than five kilometers apart shifting simultaneously. They say this would cause an earthquake stronger than current quake-proofing standards. Hokkaido Electric Power Company says such a scenario would have little effect on the Tomari facility. It says key buildings at the plant would be little affected. But agency experts say the tremor will be stronger if the two faults shift simultaneously. The utilities have agreed to re-examine the plans. The results could force a revision of quick resistance standards. They are also likely to affect how soon the idled plants can restart. A spokesperson for Iran's government says the country's oil ministry and state-run oil company were the target of a cyber attack. The spokesperson says the computer virus did not cause any major damage to important data. Another computer virus hit Iran's nuclear facilities two years ago. It reportedly disrupted some of the country's centrifuges for uranium enrichment. Japan has agreed to continue technical cooperation with Venezuela's state-run oil company in drilling and refining crude oil in the South American country. The Japanese government took the step in response to rising domestic demand for fuels. The move is in line with its pledge to cut down on the use of nuclear power after last year's Fukushima Daiichi accident. The agreement was reached on Tuesday between Japan's industry minister, Yukio Edenom, and visiting Venezuelan energy minister, Rafael Ramirez. 
Japan is trying to diversify its oil import sources. The bulk of oil now comes from the Middle East. Following the meeting, Japan Oil, Gas and Metals National Corporation and Venezuela state-run oil company signed a contract to extend the agreement for another three years. Japan wants to increase oil, crude oil supplies from Venezuela, which last year accounted for only about 0.1 percent of all of its crude imports. A Shinkansen bullet train operator plans to strengthen its early detection system to slow trains more quickly in the event of a strong earthquake. Central Japan Railway Company says the measure will help pre prevent trains from derailing. The company says it will upgrade its system to enable the bullet trains to apply emergency brakes up to two seconds faster. The upgraded system will take into account a possible inland quake just below train lines. It will enable operators to directly stop the trains earlier. The company's current anti-quake system is mainly designed to respond to powerful quakes offshore. Officials expect the improved network to perform better in the event that a powerful earthquake that strikes far from Shinkansen lines, which could possibly set off other tremors closer to high-speed tracks. Central Japan Railway also plans to upgrade seismometers installed along its tracks. The company says the upgrade will start next month and it will cost about $4.4 million. Japan's finance minister and the head of the Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development have agreed that Japan needs to reduce its fiscal deficit. Japan's fiscal situation is the worst among the industrialized countries. Finance Minister Jun Azumi and OECD Secretary General Angel Guria met in Tokyo on Tuesday. Guria expressed support for Japan's policy of raising the consumption tax from the current 5% to 10% by 2015. He also urged Japan to carry out fiscal reforms to cut its huge public debt. As we said, the government will raise income and other taxes to finance reconstruction projects for areas hit by last year's earthquake and tsunami. He said raising taxes will enable Japan to implement these projects without issuing debt-covering bonds. Hazmi also said the government will use the added revenue to cover ballooning social security costs. The OECD has been urging Japan to keep its mid-term goal of paying for all policy-related projects without relying on debt.
And before we wrap up, we bring you scenes of spring arriving in Fukushima Prefecture. This 1,000-year-old cherry tree is coming into bloom in Miharu town. The town is located about 50 kilometers west of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. The dramatic weeping branches lead to its nickname, Takizakura, or the waterfall cherry tree. It's been designated as a natural national treasure. I want all the people of Fukushima to see the blossoms and feel cheered. Town officials say the tree began blooming 10 days later than usual due to cold weather, but will be in full bloom soon.